Hey guys, I'm a verified educator at an academy and along with that I'm also teaching live at an academy plus to access my live classes you can take an academy plus subscription now an academy plus offers some interesting features apart from live classes which include detailed and complete explanation of a particular course then there you have problem a discussion for self evaluation you can also watch recorded version of the class in case if you miss out any live session you have regular doubt clearing sessions for doubt clearing and to clarify all your problems you also get access to the whatsapp group to clear and discuss problem among the other plus students now if you have found these features interesting and want to join an academy plus i'll recommend you to use my referral code that is n underscore huda to get 10 percent discount on the subscription fee now that's all about an academy plus let's continue with our video hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this is going to be the next video of this series the problem solving approach series now thank you so much for giving uh, such a good response to the previous video of this series and i really appreciate that and in this video I'm, again i'm going to take a question from physical chemistry and this is going to be like this question is going to be from the statistical thermodynamics right so it's quite uh, like easy and quite interesting question actually and uh, this question uh, is based upon two concepts first of all is statistical thermodynamics you need to know the formula you need to know the different laws in the statistical thermodynamics and the second thing is your physical NMR spectroscopy okay so I have videos on physical NMR spectroscopy so if you have not watched that video I'll suggest you to go over there and watch them there will be some previous questions solved in that video and also I have a video on statistical thermodynamics that also I'll give it a link over here so you can click on this i button and you can watch these videos out right so that will give you a thorough line uh, thorough in, uh, like uh, a, a thorough information of these topics okay so don't worry this video is not going to be uh, the digital pen and uh, screen mode it is going to be pen and paper mode only but just for the sake of the question I'm just explaining it over here so the question says that the population of the proton spin in the highest energy level of a sim of a sample in a magnetic field is 1.5 tesla and 7 tesla so 1.5 tesla uh, is actually the uh, is the uh, like is the uh, magnetic field okay these are two different magnetic field one is like 1.5 tesla and the other one is 7 tesla and the different populations are like n dash and n okay so n dash is the population in the in 1.5 tesla field and and n is the population in the 7 tesla field now the value of ln n dash by n okay so they are asking about the value of ln that is natural log of n dash by n and uh, where your gamma h k and t are given as this that your gamma is nothing but your uh, gyromagnetic ratio and h is your Planck constant k is your uh, Boltzmann constant and T is the temperature of the sample so these things are given to you in the question and assume that the partition function of both the systems can be approximated as 1 so this is also given to you that the partition function of the systems is actually equal to 1 that means Q is given as equal to 1 now let's get back to the pen and paper mode and let's try to solve this particular question alright so the solution of that particular question goes something like this to solve that question, the only thing which you need to know, the basic thing which you need to know is the Boltzmann, uh, Boltzmann distribution formula, okay? So, Boltzmann distribution formula. Now, this formula is given by this, that is N upon N naught, that is equals to E to the power minus E by KT and by Q, okay? so i'll just explain the terms over here so this n is nothing but the uh, like this is the particle in the state which you are talking about n naught is the number of particle in the uh, in the lowest state okay or in the ground state then uh, you have two different values like e is e is what that is the energy okay that's the energy value and k is your boltzmann constant t is your uh, temperature q is the uh, q is uh, what you called as a partition function Okay, so Q is the partition function. Now in the question it was given that the partition fun function has to be taken as 1. Okay, so let's take the partition function 1 over here. So we will be getting something like this. Uh, that is N upon N naught and that will be equal to E to the power E by KT. Now this is, uh, this is going to be for one of the condition. Let's take uh, for, 
for the condition where we are having 1.5 tesla magnetic field okay now from where this magnetic field will come into play for that you need to know a uh, one more concept and that you have uh, that you might have studied in your physical nmr spectroscopy that is called as larmor frequency okay let me just explain that first of all so the particle in that in that state was n dash and let it be n not n not will remain n not only because that's a constant value and n dash by n not will be given by like uh, e to the power now i am just going to convert this uh, energy in the terms of frequency and planck's constant so that is going to be minus h nu by kt now this nu is nothing but your frequency okay so nu is your frequency and for proton uh, whenever a proton go undergoes nmr like whenever uh, you are like when you place a proton or a something any of the material uh, any of the atom having spin um, not equal to zero in a particular magnetic field it starts spinning okay and that spin or the frequency of that spin is given by the larmor frequency okay so the larmor frequency is given by this formula that is uh, nu is equals to gamma b not divided by 2 pi so that's the formula for larmor frequency this nu over here minded that this is larmor frequency okay so just remember this thing so that's larmor frequency and gamma is nothing but your boltzmann const uh, sorry gamma is your zero magnetic ratio b not is your external magnetic field which you are applying and this 2 pi is a constant term so let's put all these things over here so we'll be having like n dash upon n naught that is going to be e to the power minus h gamma b naught upon 2 pi kt so that's what you will get right so fine that's what the value we will be getting now let's try to put all these things like let's try to put the value of b naught in this condition so since it was given that it is 1.5 tesla the external magnetic field is 1.5 tesla so that will come out to be like n dash upon n naught that is equals to e to the power minus 1.5 and this h upon 2 pi let it be h cross okay so i'll just write down h cross so 1.25 h cross and that's all right and we'll be having gamma also by kt so that is going to be the value of n dash by n naught so this is going to be our first equation now we have to do the similar thing now i'll we'll be doing the same sim similar thing in the second step when we were having number of particle to be n upon, and that will be n upon n naught and it will be like e to the power minus now in that case magnetic field was given to be 7 tesla right so that will be like e to the power minus 7 h cross gamma by kt so that is going to be the second equation so this is the equation number one this is our equation number two let's divide both of them so after dividing you will be getting this that is n dash by n naught divided by n by n naught and on the right hand side you will be having like e to the power minus 1.5 h cross gamma by kt and okay so fine and then you will be having like divided by e to the power minus 7 h cross gamma by kt okay so this is what we will be getting on the right hand side if you like sub solve this so n naught n naught is a constant value that will be cancelled out so you will be having n dash by n and that is going to be equal to e to the power uh, it will be like minus 1.5 h cross gamma by kt plus 7 h cross gamma by kt now this whole bunch of thing is happening in the uh, exponential power okay so let's try to solve this quickly and get the answer now this is what we got up till now by solving let's solve these powers so plus minus we have to just subtract that so n dash by n that is going to be e to the power and when you subtract this you will be getting 5.5 and then you will be having like gamma h cross by kt now just if you take natural log both sides so it will be like ln n dash by n and that will be equal to 5.5 gamma h cross by kt so this is going to be your answer so they were asking about the value of ln n cross by n right and if you just look upon to this you have just got the answer that is 5.5 h cross gamma by kt okay so this is pretty simple right 
just you need to know the uh, Boltzmann distribution formula and the second thing is about the Lama frequency so I hope you guys understood it well and I hope uh, the question you just got to know about that but about this particular question so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye bye